YouTube, Mithrilla here. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to go back to Five Nights of Freddy's. We are picking up where we left off doing Night 2. Now, for those of you who have played the game, Night 2 is where things start to get real because people become more active, which is kind of funny because Foxy was unusually active in my first night. So, imagine if I didn't know what I was doing and Foxy paid me a visit on the first night, because that's what would have happened. I would have sucked so badly there if I didn't know what I was doing initially. decides that he's gonna sing his little jingle. Oh, Chick's out now. Chica, I think, is just less aggressive. I think she just kind of likes to wander around. She's a bit less aggressive. Which is, I mean, nice. Checking in the important cameras to conserve power. Kitchen noises, so Chica's in the kitchen currently. There's Pit Pats. Hey, Bon Bon! <laughs> and there's Foxy poking his little head out. Hi, Foxy. So I've got a funny story about Foxy. Um, I work at a high school, and, uh, we were having a lockdown drill, and my kids were, you know, where they were supposed to be. They're, they're good kids, really. Ah, stupid camera. And, uh, uh, for those of you who've never been in a lockdown drill, you basically shut down your lights, you close your windows, you kind of all crouch away from windows and doors in a secluded area. That way, you can't be seen from the windows, and uh, it's to make it so that gunmen don't have a or whoever, psychopaths, who want to come and do nasty things at my school, um, can't hurt the kids. And um, we have improvised weapons, and uh, my improvised weapons are um, some broken dusk parts, actually. And um, after, you know, after the lockdown, you're supposed to get cleared room by room by a police officer or, you know, someone like that, someone with ID. And they basically, they unlock your room, they check to see what it looks like, and, uh, that way they, they can tell you if you need to improve. And, uh, my, the, my school's SRO cleared my room because I'm right down the hall from his office. You know, for better or for worse, he's a pretty cool guy. And, uh, he quite literally popped his body into the room like Foxy does in his jump scare. And he just popped his body in, 
They even come into there and he's popped his body and looked at us and he goes, Hi! Bye! And then he just pops right back out and locks my door and it was this most surreal thing ever because all I could think of was that was my SRO <laughs> looking like Foxy. It looks nothing like Foxy, but my my kids just cracked up and I you know I had to be the responsible person in the room. I'm trying not to laugh myself and uh, they're you know, it's just the most surreal thing being cleared from a lockdown drill by basically a blonde foxy in a police uniform. <laughs> it was it was hysterical. And uh, so if you can imagine foxy in a police uniform, a blonde foxy in a police uniform, clearing a classroom just by you know, with that pose, it was it was absolutely hysterical. God I love high school. What's funny is that my kids actually, you know, aren't, they think, they think it's kind of quaint that I still play this game. You know, they, they're much more into Outlast and Soma and that kind of stuff, and, um, I can't really normally do horror movies in general. I mean, this one, when I first started playing, literally gave me panic attacks. Uh, the phone guy's spiel would end during night two, and I would quite literally start hyperventilating, and I had to turn off the game. I mean, quite obviously, I'm better now. Hi, Bonnie. <gasps> Did you want to join us for story time? You want to hear awesome stories about my kids? Because I got awesome kids. Um, and the thing that helped me get over it was watching... Um, my two primary people that I watched to kind of desensitize me to everything was um, Markiplier and Kevin Kevin. Kevin Kevin mostly for the strats, basically giving me the confidence that, hey, here's a strat that works, it's pretty straightforward that you can just do. Um, oh, hi, Foxy. You are truly active. What on earth is wrong with you? Do you know that I've played this game before and I kind of know what I'm doing? data. That's a new one. <gasps> bon Bon's back! Hi Bon Bon. Okay, go away Bon Bon. No one loves you. I certainly don't love you. Okay, 5 a.m. 25% power. We're just rocking this. Woohoo. Gotta love these easy first couple nights. come to join the, the cupcake party. I heard you were in the kitchen like making cupcakes. And which is super nice. But I don't trust you to have not jacked him up with something. Let's just be honest here. You got that big old psychedelic smile and I mean what? For all I know you could have put pot in there. You could have put arsenic. You, I mean you, you could have doctored those. Let's be honest here. And oh oh no 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 no! I was just a little bit. <gasps> yes, yes. Oh oh, Bonnie got in my office, but she wasn't able to kill me. Woohoo! Okay. Well, with that, I am actually going to stop the video here. Uh, we'll save the third night for another video, so thank you once again for joining me with Five Nights at Freddy's. If you like what you see, please feel free to leave me a like and a subscribe, and leave a comment down below. That way I can get to know you guys and get to know what sorts of things you would like to see me play. So once again, this is Mithrilla. 
I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I hope to see you in the next video. Oh.